<coughs> Joe D'Amico, Port Discovery. Boy, you guys have done it now. I got a bunch of calls from a bunch of Redskins. Four towns of Redskins over the last week asking me, Joe, what are we going to do? I tell you, the memories I had there growing up as a kid, unbelievable. It's what's made me today. I'm almost positive. Coach Heckman playing football. We brought up the first playoff game ever to Port Townsend Memorial Field, the Redskins. We went to the state championship every year for four years. And we got that never quit, never give up. That's where it comes from, guys. And I'm not going to give up. I'm not giving up for Redskin football. And I'll tell you what, that's, I had a tough decision when I had to choose where to send my kids to school. And I sent them to swim because I saw the writing on the wall. Even though it would hurt that my boy would be fifth generation here in Port Townsend. Fifth generation. So you got to get your arms around it. You got to get down there and, 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 and keep that field open. Um, because there's, there's the stories, the, the times I sat in that locker room when we were there uh, up against the wall, whether we were going to win or not, that stuff drives business people, it drives success, it brings up our kids with discipline. And I probably got more discipline there than I did with, from my dad from high school football. And you're not only affecting poor towns, you're affecting people that come to Memorial Field from all over and get the joy of coming into downtown Port Townsend and, and playing football in the fall and and, uh, and it's affecting Chimicum, it's going to affect Quillacine or you know all, all of the sports and then you put the kids in Little League football for what? Really think about that. I have my kid in Little League football down here why am I going to start them off in Little League football if there's no football? So you're really affecting a lot of people here. But I'll make you a deal you want to give me Memorial Field, I'll run it, and I'll settle my lawsuit with you. <laughs> you can have football forever. So that's an option. The other is, is I wanted to comment um, on the mission um, that our U.S. military forces are doing with Haiti. Unbelievable. I'm so proud of them. And they're doing such a wonderful job. Everybody from Coast Guard to the Southern Command, U.S. Transcom, Military Sealift Command, uh, the Army Special Forces. Um, you know, I, there's a lot of suffering going on right now. And our government is, is kicking some butt down there right now and doing the best that they can. So my hat's off to them. Thank you.